to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to program the Simpson Hawk 3 Series Digital Panel Meter. Many of the advanced features of the Hawk 3 respond to and interact with each other. Before programming the Hawk 3, it is important to know the order in which to set up these features. For our demonstration, we will program the decimal point, linearization or scaling, and the set points and relay control. I have wired the device to my power supply and the numbers 0000 are on the display. I will begin programming by placing my decimal point in any one of the five locations. To do this, push the left arrow to enter programming mode. Now I will use the arrow here to scroll up to the display control marked by DCTL. Then I will press enter. DPN2345 should be flashing here. I will press enter again and 2345 is now a fixed display. I can place the decimal point using the up and down arrows. I will place it here and hit enter. I will now push the left arrow to save my changes. For my next example, I will program my meter to show one point linearization for a 150 DCA application using a 50 DC MV shunt. Since I am still in programming mode, I can scroll up until I get to screen control. This will be marked by a SCTL on the display. I will push enter and lin or linearization should be on the display. I will press enter again and the display will be flashing between off and coordinate or cord. When I hit enter, off will be a fixed display. I can scroll up until one PT displays and then press enter. The display here should flash between a number and ELE1. Once I hit enter, I can adjust my value using the arrow keys. Since I want 200.0, I only want to change the negative sign to a positive. If I scroll to the left past the two, the screen should display sign and I can push up once to remove the negative sign. I will hit enter and a different number with DSP1 should be flashing. Press enter here to change the value. For my demonstration, I will change the number to 600. I will scroll left to the last digit and push up until I get to 6 and then push left one more time to remove the minus sign as I did in the previous step. Once I am finished, I will push enter and then left to save changes. To edit my set points and relays, I will enter programming mode and scroll up until I get to the SP1 and then hit enter. The display should flash between UAL and a number. I will hit enter and change the number to my desired value. For this example, I will change the value to 100 and push enter. Right now, DLAY and RSP should be flashing. I will push enter again to set my relay response. I can choose between delay, latch, or hysteresis. Only one of these can be set, but I will go through each one to show you how to set the parameters. For delay, the parameter will actuate the given relay after a set amount of time, when past the set point setting. This parameter can be adjusted by going to D low. If I hit enter, I can adjust the amount of delay time. The display will now show D high and I can enter the amount of delay time here and press enter. For latch, the parameter will actuate the given relay. To reset manually, push enter slash reset. To set latch, after I changed my UAL value, I can scroll up until I get to LTCH and hit enter. LTCH and a number should be flashing. I will press enter and enter the amount of delay desired before the relay actuates. When I am finished, I will press enter. For hysteresis, I can set the percentage above or below the set point where the relay will actuate. I will scroll up to the third value after latch and delay and then press enter. The display will show H low and a number. I will press enter and change the percentage of hysteresis, falling edge and push enter. The display will now show H high. 
Once I push enter, I can change the percentage of hysteresis rising edge, then press enter. After I set one of the three responses of display, latch, or hysteresis, I can set my alarm to high, low, or off. I will push enter and pick one of the three, then push enter again. My next step is to choose the state of the relay to be normally energized NE or normally de-energized ND. I will push enter and choose my desired state. I will hit the left arrow key to return to the main menu. Using these steps, I can adjust SP2, SP3, and SP4 as necessary. Simpson Hawk 3 Series Digital Panel Meter, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Galco.com.